did I pick like the worst possible person to try to seduce? Like this guy is not okay. And then you just get up like this guy is not easy. He's just not cooperating with us. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Lady Sweet Tart, and welcome back to the Black Widow Challenge. So I was so excited to get back into this after the first episode. So it's obviously the next morning and Haven has just gotten up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just have her get started on her day. And it looks like she definitely needs to go to the restroom. But yeah, the plan for today is we are gonna try to get Haven engaged to Jacques because obviously we want to get moving on this challenge and for anything to really count she has to get married you know we can't start being a black widow without a wedding so the plan is to get her engaged today and also to get her to move in with him because i looked to see if there was any kind of rule about like you have to be married before you're allowed to move in and there's not so hopefully this will be the last day in this house which makes me feel really bad because Nelly XO did such a good job and probably spent some time making this for me. But the point of the challenge is, you know, to try to take the other men's money. And part of that is kind of taking over their house. So that's what we're going to be trying to work on today. So let's just kind of see if she ends up putting the house on fire because I wouldn't be surprised if she does. She acquired the cooking skill. I wish like there was something like in The Sims 3 where they could be a natural cook. Like that would be really useful, you know? Wow, Haven, you didn't set fire to the kitchen. I am amazed. And probably what I'll do is after she's done eating, I'm gonna send her out for more collectibles again. Um, we do have 1,648 simoleons, but you know, it just never hurts to have a little extra insurance. And like I said, hopefully if things go well by the end of the day, Jacques' money will be our money. Okay, so I'm just having Haven get some collectibles from the Oasis Springs Park. Who's trying to talk to her? Why is Lily Fang trying to talk to Haven? I mean, we know you're a gold digger too. You probably recognize a fellow gold digger when you see one, but we don't care to talk to you. Haven's not a nice person and she does not talk to people that she doesn't want to talk to. And you're on that list, Lily Fang. Let's see if there is anybody interesting for her, her to talk to. Cause again, like, you know, after Jacques, we're gonna have to find some other people for her to seduce. And I do know one person I want her to go for, but like there might be others, you know? Hey, I think this guy has a decent amount of money. Justin Delgado, and I have a specific reason for maybe wanting to target him. If you watch my Baby Challenge series, you'll understand. Because in the last episode what? of my Baby Challenge, my family Detroit? moved to Brendleton Bay, and him and his wife came as part of the welcome wagon. And if you saw that, you probably can understand why I would target Justin Delgado. But aside from that, I think that they do have a pretty nice house and they are worth a pretty decent amount of money. So he could be on our list for the future. Okay, Mila Munch, we don't care to talk to you. And why are you everywhere? Like, you were at the restaurant last night, too. See, he's telling you to go away, too. He doesn't want to talk to you. I mean, it's not going to hurt for her to meet other guys and, like, try to build a little bit of a friendship. So we're just going to have her do some friendly things. Ask him about day. See, like, no one wants to talk to you, Mila. Leave us alone. I shouldn't be so mean to Mila much. But, like, she just does annoying things in, like, every save of mine. I don't know what it is about her. She just does. Wow, he's really excited about talking to Haven. Gossip with him? Hey, did you know there are people, Justin, that show up at other people's doors for welcome wagons? And they don't have any clothes on. Like, they just wear their underwear. Can you believe that crap? Because I can't. Okay, so once again, um, it's not giving Haven the option to ask Jacques out on a date, which by the way, um, you'll notice he looks a little different. <laughs> I gave Jacques a little bit of a makeover. Um, you'll be able to see better once they um, get out, but I guess I'm just gonna have to invite him to hang out again and oh, then invite him on the date yeah. when he gets here. Okay, so yeah, I gave him a different outfit and I did fix his face a little bit. Like I didn't, 
I don't feel like I made him look super different. Like, I feel like you can definitely still tell that it's Jacques Villarreal, but like, I just made him look a little bit less extreme because he had some very extreme looking features. And I also gave him a skin overlay um, so he doesn't look quite as old. I mean, I picked one where he still has some little lines and stuff so it doesn't look super unrealistic, but like, my logic was, okay, listen, Jacques has a lot of money, right? And he's got this hot young girlfriend. So I felt like, you know, he would probably want to go get some work done, right? Like he'd probably go get some plastic surgery. He'd probably want to start dressing a little bit better, even though he still kind of looks old, old manish. I didn't want to dress him too young, you know, but I figured he would want to do those things because, you know, he's got this hot young girlfriend and he has the money to go get the work done. So that's what my story is. And because it makes it easier for all of us to look at him, right? How come I'm not finding, did I, do I keep passing? This is why it's not a good idea for me to choose the options while I'm talking because I totally miss things. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, so they are here on their date and hopefully, like I said, we can have them just have a nice date and she can get proposed to him proposed she can get engaged to him by the end of the night so we're just gonna see how that goes and she still needs another date for her um, aspiration so this should help with that as well so it's kind of like killing two birds in one stone and hopefully this romantic aura will help a little bit yeah he's flirty already and then we'll just order for the table oh here we go love potion will put them both in a better mood. I mean, it's kind of expensive. It's 27 bucks. But hopefully, again, if things go well, we will be moved in with him by the end of the day and we'll be able to use his money. I feel like it's taking forever to build up a friendship with him. I don't know if that's like a reflection of his personality or just the way that it goes. He's still looking at her so adoringly. I mean, look at him. He's just like smitten. Jacques, you just make it too easy. I mean, even if we don't have maxed out friendship, maybe he would still accept a proposal? I don't know. I guess our date's over, though, even though we are still on our appetizers. But we've just work been working really hard on trying to build up the friendship because, like I said, to propose, you really have to get the friendship up high. And I feel like that a date at a restaurant is a good way to do it because... They don't keep running away. Like a lot of times when you try to talk to Sims, I feel like in this game, they're always trying to run off and do something. Um, what else can we do? Express admiration. I really admire how you're a criminal. Joke about old times, you know, from yesterday when we met. She's getting really tired too. We don't want either one of them to be in too bad of a mood because then they're not gonna be able to like have a successful proposal. <laughs> Haven's in bad shape. She has to pee. She's tired. It's four in the morning. Um, I think the new plan is I'm going to have her invite Jacques to spend the night and then hopefully they can wake up in the morning and be in a better mood and then she can propose to him. Maybe they can woohoo in the morning. I mean, I don't know. Like, that's the plan now. I just don't think this would be a good time to propose. It just took way longer to build a friendship than I thought it would. I mean, I don't understand why it would. We're just gonna go home now. Yeah, we left without paying our bill because we're in really rough shape. So Haven, go ahead and go in here and use the toilet before you pee yourself. And then you're gonna have to go and go to bed. So go ahead and go to bed. Go to sleep. Apparently Jacques isn't all that tired. I mean, he's got some vigor for an old guy. He's also reading The First Unicorn, a children's book. Interesting. Um, he needs to go to bed as well. I wonder why he's not going. You can tell from his eyes that he's tired. Uh, he's having a personal emergency. Great. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to invite him back over at some point. Okay, Jacques, we just saw each other. I can't get you out of my mind lately. Want to go on a date and get some breakfast at fancy restaurant? No, because we're exhausted, but we'll see you later, okay? We don't care about GeekCon. Oh my gosh, Jacques! <laughs> oh, you know, it's only 3.30 in the afternoon and she's just getting up. 
hopefully, we definitely will be able to move in with Jacques today. That's the hope and dream. So I'm not even gonna send her out for collectibles today. I'm just gonna see if she can invite him out and we can try this again. Or just invite him over, that might be even better. Okay, for some reason she can't invite him in. I'm trying to see if he's got those circles under his eyes still. What in the world? Why wouldn't he be rested yet? That doesn't make any sense at all. Like, it's so weird though, why he would could still be like this tired? That doesn't make any sense. Ask about his day. Obviously you didn't sleep during it. Okay, so go ahead and woohoo with him and then you'll get your fun up and hopefully that will put him in a better mood and he'll be more likely to say yes. <laughs> Plus, like, he looks like he's tired, so maybe he'll sleep. Like, if he needs to sleep, you know what I mean? Because if he's, like, in a bad mood, I know he won't accept the proposal. I know that's a thing in this game. Ooh, you even broke out the sexy lingerie there, Haven. Your Black Widow lingerie. <laughs> wow, that must not have been very good woohoo because her fun did not go all the way up. <laughs> yeah, unsatisfied. Not surprised. So let's just do one more friendly thing, and then that should max out our relationship. Well, maybe our relationship's maxed out already. I mean, it looks like it. Why don't you just go to sleep then? And then in the morning, like, hopefully we can get this going. I just feel like it's taking so long and I don't understand why. Well, I do understand why part of it's because he came over exhausted today, but it's just frustrating because I feel like we should be able to move through this really fast and we're not. What we don't want to do is over exhaust him and have him die, you know, since he's an elder before we actually get to marry him. That would not be good. Oh, and he's up now. <laughs> Are you all right, my boy? You're like tripping. I mean, I know you have the insane trait, but like, wow. Why does it look like he's still tired? I'm not understanding. I just am paying really close attention to whether he's tired or not, because first of all, you know, we don't want to overexert him since he's an elder and cause him to die before we even get her to marry him. But also because, um, like, he won't accept our proposal if he's too tired. Is he going to go back to bed? Oh, my gosh. Why doesn't he go to bed when he's tired? I don't understand. Did I pick, like, the worst possible person to try to seduce? Like, this guy is not... Okay, and then you just get up. Like, this guy is not easy. I would have thought that he was. Where is he going? Oh my gosh, Jacques, what is wrong with you? Like, seriously, look at the circles under his eyes. Why doesn't the guy sleep? And why does he still seem tired? I don't understand. Like, the thing is, we can't even do anything when he's exhausted. Because, like I said, he's an elder. We could kill him before we even marry him. But also, he won't accept the proposal if he's, like, exhausted. So I really wish the guy would actually freaking sleep. Like, I almost feel like telling her to tell him to go home so that maybe he'll sleep. But it's, like, already Wednesday, and we were supposed to be, like, engaged on Monday. Like, this is super ridiculous. It's because of his insane trait, I'm sure. And, like, he's just not cooperating with us. I mean, we finally max out the relationship, and we can't do anything because he's super freaking tired. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. She's gonna grow old before she's able to complete this challenge. Oh my gosh, can she like ask him to leave? I don't think that like gives them a bad relationship, but like I don't feel like he's gonna sleep when he's here. I don't, I don't understand it. Maybe if I have her leave, like he'll just be gone. Guys, I am so frustrated. Like everything just keeps like, first we can't get our relationship up. Then the guy will not sleep. Like I don't, this is so freaking frustrating. I mean, look at him. Like, so far, honestly, this is way harder than the baby challenge, in my opinion. Okay, so, yeah, I need her to, like, find some stuff. Because you know what? We might as well do something. She found some metal. Well, oh boy. And what is that? That looks like something we should be able to do something with. And we can't. Great. We're just, like, trying to bide time to give time for, like, Jacques to get home and, like, actually, like, freaking sleep. Because he's like ridiculous and obviously doesn't know what sleep is. 
So maybe I can send Haven out to meet some other guys. Like, I do know who I want her to go for next, but I don't know if it'd be a good time to, like, have her meet him. So let's just have her travel somewhere and see who we can meet. Uh, maybe she can go to the gym. Gym's usually a good place. Okay, so let's see who's here. Eliza Pancakes, which is no help at all. Who is this person? They have, like, some bold clothing on. Oh, and she looks like she's pregnant. Um, is it just me, or is she definitely pregnant? Like, I definitely feel like she's pregnant, and, yeah, she's got some, like, highlighter problems on. Girlfriend, I don't think that that highlighter was made for your complexion color. I'm just saying. You might want to rethink your makeup options. And, yeah, she's even an adult. Like, tell me she's not pregnant. Like... But look, when I do MC Command Center pregnancy, it says she's not pregnant. I do not understand. Yeah, so why don't you just like do some cardio? Cause I don't think there's anybody for you to meet right now. And then we can have you like shower and stuff when the gym's dying. Cause you know, might as well have her working on something. I mean, and there's like, okay, Paolo's here, but let's be honest, Paolo doesn't have any bank. He, like, lives with some friends. Brent Hecking is here, but I feel very strongly about not breaking up the only same-sex couple that EA put in the game. I just, I don't know. I just don't feel right about that. Don, same thing. Don does not have any money. Like, Don lives with Kelly and Tay women, okay? It's all their money. So, like, this is a total bust. Like, where would we meet rich men at? Like, where would we meet them at? Paolo looks like he's flurry. Like, boy, it's too bad you don't have any money because we could, like, totally make a move on you. I mean, I could have her talk to him just to build her charisma skill because I think that's one of the things that she has to do, um, you know, for the challenge. It's just to build her charisma. So, like, I guess she can go over and, like, just do some charisma interactions with him just to, like, get her charisma up. I'm sure he would, like, be more than thrilled to have someone like Haven come talk to him. Um, I just want to get her charisma up. Oh, she's got bright and day now. Oh, that's Bajorn. But you know what? Bajorn keeps coming around. Like, Bajorn could definitely be a target at some point. So, like, let's have her go, like, work on a friendship with him. Compliment his outfit. That's a pretty snazzy, like, plain shirt and tie and chinos you've got on there. Or khakis or whatever you want to call them. Um, brightness day. We're just trying to do, like, the... Charisma, charisma stuff. What is wrong with that lady's hair? That does not look right. Yeah, hand up to you too, girl. That's why I feel about your hair. So her little conversation with Born, Born, with Bjorn is actually going pretty well. I know it's technically Bjorn. Okay. He seems real interested to talk to her though, which doesn't surprise me because he's definitely been following her around like everywhere. It's crazy. So go ahead and use like the showers and stuff here because they're probably better showers than what we have at home oh and here comes his wife uh, she's probably not very happy she's like what are you doing talking to this young hot girl i don't like this you shouldn't your feelings are correct there clara uh clara why is clara trying to talk with us she's probably trying to say step off biatch stay away from my husband what do you mean oh no 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 oh no dina caliente I like you, but you are not taking our shower. We were in here first, so step off. That's what I thought. Trust me, you do not want to mess with somebody like Haven, okay? She will cut a B. I mean, she will. Like, a lot of people say that, but Haven actually will. Um, <laughs> Haven, why didn't you bother to change into your regular clothes? Like, is he coming over? Let's hope. He'll be right over. Good. Hopefully he doesn't look exhausted like something the cat drug in. If he does, guys, I am just going to go ahead and, and ask to move in. Because I don't know what's going on with him, why he's so tired all the time. Like, I feel like it's a glitch. I feel like it looks like he's still tired. He still looks tired. I'm not understanding. There's no way he should be exhausted every time we invite him over. Like, this has even been, like, what, 10 hours 
So honestly, I'm just going to ask to move in now. Ask to move in. Here we go. So we're going to ask him if we can move in with him. He looks super, like, freaking tired. Like, I just feel like this is a glitch. Like, for the past two days, he's looked like this constantly. And I just feel like the game is glitching out. And I wanted to, like, wait and, like, move in after she proposed. But, like, I just feel like there's some glitch causing him to always be tired. And it's not against the rules. It was just kind of, like, my way of doing it. But so let's see what he says. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, so he said we can move in. Great, well, at least we can get that done. And then we can see if, like, it's truly that he's tired or if it's a glitch. Like, because I feel like no matter what, it's not going to go away. Oh, and yeah, now we're going to have to control five people. <laughs> That's the downside. And I did give these two um, a little makeover, too. I thought if she's going to move in, like... Let's make them look better. I didn't really do anything with Max because I feel like it's hard to make over children. But I did make over Luna and Hugo. So, yeah. Why why are we still here? Go home, Jacques. Go home. Uh -huh. Okay, now look. This Yeah, I'm telling you, that was a glitch. Like, he was so freaking exhausted. And then as soon as we move in with him, he's not tired anymore. I mean, that doesn't make any sense, guys. How much do we have? Oh my gosh, guys, we have 91,000 simoleons now, which granted, I kind of feel like they should have more than that. We go from like 1,000 simoleons to 91,000 simoleons. Like that is like such a fun thing about this challenge that you can just go in and totally take over someone else's finances. And then let's start doing some romantic things because we want a steamy exchange. Embrace him. Ooh. He's like coming on to her. There we go. Now they're both flirty. It's an amorous exchange. We want it to be a steamy exchange, though. So caress his cheek. Flirt. There we go. Now it's a steamy exchange. So go ahead and woohoo with him. Don't try for a baby. And then hopefully after they woohoo, then I can have her propose to him. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and woohoo. And then this should help put them both in a romantic type of mood. It's still steamy, so we're gonna go ahead and have her propose. Now seems like as good a time as any. Let's see what happens. Yay, it worked! We need, we totally need pictures though. Of course we do. Yay, after all that time, oh my gosh, that was a freaking like ordeal. Yeah, that was like a total ordeal if I've ever, ever seen one. But they're engaged now, so yay. Like dude totally does not know what's coming his way. Like, admiring the ring. Like, how did she even get him a ring? Because she had no money. But, like, let's just, you know. But, yeah, let's go ahead and just suspend our disbelief. And, like, just pretend like she could afford to buy him an engagement ring. Shock just got engaged to Haven. Yay. Okay. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Because, man, like I said, that was an ordeal. Um, if you didn't already know, like, I know I've said it, guys, this challenge is so hard. I mean, I knew it was going to be a somewhat challenging challenge, but it's way harder than I even thought. Definitely harder than the baby challenge. Um, I really hope we can do this, but you know, I'm going to keep at it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like and subscribe so that we can meet again and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>